The crew currently stationed on the International Space Station are trying to explain the origin of mysterious sounds that have been detected by the crew of Boeing's Starliner. The team has reached out to Mission Control, expressing their concern regarding Starliner. Unusual sounds emanating from the speaker are being detected, and the underlying cause remains unknown. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station are currently investigating the incident that started a few days ago when the Starliner started producing unusual sonar sounds. Following its launch by Boeing on June 5th, the Starliner has encountered numerous issues and substantial obstacles, resulting in the temporary stranding of two astronauts. Owing to safety considerations, Boeing's Starliner is scheduled to return on September 6th without any crew members present. Houston on two, I've got a question about Starliner. Houston's with you, Butch, go ahead. Uh, There's it's a strange noise coming through the speaker, and I didn't know if you could connect into the Starliner and let me uh, keep mic and let you hear. I don't, I don't know what, what's making it, but uh, I don't know if it's something that maybe is connected uh, between here and there, making that happen, but uh, anyway, can you do that? We can configure that, Butch. Give us a minute, and I'll call you back when it's ready. Okay. Station Houston on two, we're configured for audio via hardline and CST, if you want to give us a call. Okay, I'm in uh, Starliner, and how do you read? Five by five, how many? Okay, I'm going to put some key to mic up next to the speaker. Copy. Hear that? At negative, Butch, we did not hear anything. That. All right, Butch, that one came through. It was kind of like a pulsing noise, almost like a... Sonar ping. Yeah, I'll do it one more time and I'll you scratch your head to see if you can figure out what's going on. Here we go. All right, over to you. Call us uh, if you figure it out. Yep, good recording. Thanks, Butch. We will pass it on to the team and let you know what we find. And Butch, just to be make sure I'm on the same page, this is emanating from the speaker in Starliner. You don't notice anything else, uh, any other noises, any other weird configs in there? Okay, thank you. This unusual phenomenon has sparked curiosity and concern, raising questions about the source of the sounds and their potential implications for future space travel. NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore has documented an unusual sound emanating from the malfunctioning Boeing Starliner space capsule, which has resulted in him and his colleague Suni Williams being trapped in orbit for a duration of six months over their initial expectations when they launched from Earth in June. On Saturday, Wilmore contacted Mission Control in Houston by radio to report the presence of a pulsing sound emanating from a speaker located within the capsule. According to the astronauts, the noises were unlike anything they had encountered before. The sounds were rhythmic, almost mechanical in nature, yet they bore a resemblance to the type of sonar signals typically associated with underwater navigation. The fact that such noises were being heard in the vacuum of space, where sound cannot travel as it does in the atmosphere, added to the mystery. This triggered an investigation into the source of the noise in the spacecraft, which has been plagued by helium leaks and propulsion problems. The spacecraft is now scheduled to return to a landing site in New Mexico on September 6th, operated by autopilot, without Wilmore and Williams. This decision was made by NASA, who deemed it too hazardous for astronauts to fly in. In February, the couple are scheduled to embark on a return journey to Earth on a capsule constructed by SpaceX, a competitor of Boeing. To facilitate the descent of Wilmore and Williams, two NASA astronauts scheduled to join the International Space Station will be intentionally excluded from a mission scheduled later this month. Further investigation is required to determine the origin of the pulsing noise emanating from Boeing spacecraft. Wilmore requested Houston flight controllers to ascertain their ability to listen, but finally, with his microphone seemingly suspended in Starliner, he had to position it in close proximity to the speaker. The peculiar signal was recorded and publicly disclosed by Rob Dale, a meteorologist based in Michigan, and was initially documented by Ars Technica. As to the source, anomalies in audio systems aboard spaceships are relatively uncommon. Oddly enough, in 2003, Chinese astronaut Yang Li Wei reported auditory hallucinations of an iron bucket being hammered by a traditional wooden hammer.
the public relations struggle faced by Boeing has transcended the confines of Earth since the company's Starliner spacecraft, carrying two astronauts, is now immobilized in outer space. Following an initial eight-day mission, US astronauts Sunita Suni Williams and Barry Butch Wilmore have now been stationed aboard the International Space Station for over a month, engaging in technical work to resolve issues with Starliner. The precise timing for the astronauts' successful return to Earth is yet uncertain. According to a Boeing representative, the Starliner crew flight test has been postponed until after two scheduled spacewalks on Monday, June 24, and Tuesday, July 2. At present, there is no specific date for the return, and the company will assess several possibilities following the spacewalks. Furthermore, the spokesman emphasized that the crew is not under time constraints to depart from the station due to the plenty of supplies in orbit and the station's timetable remaining largely flexible until mid-August. The Starliner successfully launched into space on June 5th from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida, following two prior unsuccessful attempts on May 6th and June 1st. Deviating from the planned timeline and exceeding the allocated budget by $1.5 billion, this specific NASA Boeing project encountered complications well in advance of its formal launch, such as malfunctions in reaction control thrusters and helium leaks. According to the Boeing representative, the helium leaks and most of the thruster issues have been contained and do not pose a threat to the return trip. Out of the five thrusters that were previously undergoing shutdown, four are now functioning normally. Thus, only one thruster out of a total of 27 is presently inoperative. This does not pose a problem for the return mission, the representative further stated. Officials from NASA and Boeing assert that the astronauts are not marooned and that the technical challenges do not pose a threat to the mission. According to NASA, the spacecraft necessitates a duration of seven hours for unrestricted flight in order to carry out a typical end of mission. Furthermore, present levels of helium in its tanks are sufficient to sustain 70 hours of unrestricted flight activity after being unloaded. During a recent press briefing, Steve Stitch, the manager of NASA's commercial crew program, stated that they are proceeding as planned and adhering to their established mission management team procedure. Officials are using the data to inform their decision-making process on the management of minor helium system leaks and thruster performance that they noticed during the rendezvous and docking operation. In the event of an emergency or a necessity for a rapid departure, the spacecraft is authorized to undock and return to Earth. NASA stated that during the docking of Starliner, all the manifolds are closed in accordance with standard mission operations to avoid any loss of helium from the tanks. Should the Starliner prove to be unsafe, Williams and Wilmore may be required to accompany the crew aboard SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft, which is presently connected to the International Space Station, on the opposite side. Boeing is currently facing its most recent crisis, which follows other public crises they have experienced with different commercial aeroplanes. However, the corporation maintains that these crises are distinct problems. During a May news conference, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson stated that the Starliner launch is just the sixth debut voyage of a crewed spacecraft in the history of the United States.